What's going on, man? This is Temperature Check. I am your host, as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature. How y'all doing out there? And before we get started with today's content, I must do what I always do anytime you see me on your screen, and that is thank you guys for the likes, comments, shares, and most importantly, those subscriptions. So whether you be a day one fan or someone who just locked in with the channel today, man, I greatly appreciate it. Let's keep that level of engagement going. And if you want to do so, man, make sure that you follow me on IG and on Twitter, man. Mix to check the temperature on both of them platforms. But let's get into it, man. Jada Nightwing. And John John and Don. It's getting good, man. It's getting good. The promotion is getting good. It looks like we are on a collision course for a battle, man. So I'm going to kind of update y'all on what's been going on. Um, shout out to both of them before we even get started, man. Shout out to uh, John John and Don for his career, legacy, and everything. And shout out for Jay Nightwing for, you know what I'm saying, kicking the door in on the URL and not being afraid of competition. Because at the end of the day, this is all of this. This is entertainment. This is competition. But let's get right off into it, man. So... If you didn't check out my Jada Nightwing versus Shotgun Should Bar for Bar breakdown, definitely go check that out once you get done with this one. But immediately after that battle, man, Jada Nightwing obviously riding, you know what I'm saying, a very good high, riding emotional spirits after 30 in Shotgun Should, body bagging, zipping him up, sending him back to Jersey real quick. Um, he takes the 15 minutes of fame. Shout out to Uncle Ryan, everything they got going. He takes the 15 minutes of fame and then calls out John John the Don. And tells Johnny John to stop, stop ducking him. Come outside. He's waiting on him. Johnny John the Don takes the Twitter and the response. And it was like, bro, this is not what you want. You, you're asking for something. I get it. You feeling good about yourself, but this is not what you want. John John the Don takes it a step further and makes a podcast about it. So shout out to his podcast, all of the above on all of the above podcasts on Spotify, man. I just uh locked in with it. You should do the same. His last podcast was addressing Jaden Nightwing he meet that was what the whole podcast was about. Basically breaking it down as to why Jaden Nightwing shouldn't want this battle. Like I believe John John Adon is one of the ones. He's not someone that you get one win in the URL and then you jump and go get John John. That's not what you want to do. You gotta you gotta progress to get somebody like him. Again, again, shout out to Vitafly for using the example. But look at Gishi Gotti. It was one to two years before he even knocked on that door. But you know what I'm saying? We here, so let's talk about it. So he takes to again all of the above podcast and really breaks down why he feels that Jaden Nightwing should not want to battle him. He talks about the battles that we already know about. You gotta talk about prep and what he did to prep. Slowed man, slowed that career down. Complete stop. Wavy. Complete stop. <laughs> Complete stop. Shut that shit down. Jack boy. He threw his chain. He he 30 the nigga in two rounds. Think about that. John John 30 the nigga with two rounds. We never even heard the third round of the Jack boy battle. And we calling that a 30. And Chess, think about the run that Chess was on before he got the John John. He he had battled Twerk, Geechee Gotti. Um, he did the two two on two against Loaded Hollows. He had Tory Doe. He had Bad News. Um, is it some? He had Arsenal. He had O Red. Doing great in all those battles and got thirty. I don't think y'all understand. Like Chess was literally in contention for champion of the year you could have put him in like that top 10 he probably would have finished like top 10 until he met john john and did not win a round and you see the aftermath do you realize chess has not been good has stumbled and choked in every battle since he battled john 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 took that man confidence he took that man confidence so Jada Nightwing, that's all he's trying to tell you he put he's giving you foreshadowment this is not what you really want to do but he said and i quote you gonna make URL give me the money I want to take this battle. At this point, I'm thinking, okay, Jay, you know what I'm saying? He listening to John John, and maybe he's kind of like replaying everything in his head and says, you know what? Uh, not right now. Nope, nope. I see you, Jay. I see you, Jay, with the promotion. He comes right back and says, no. Do you understand who I am? Do you understand what I have done? He's battled. In the in a room with no crowd, multiple times at this point, he what did he have like three or four battles in the Ultimate Madness? He has now he has his URL rookies versus vet under his belt. He is a vet in this particular setting, 
But John John is a jack of all trades. He is. He 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 is a chameleon. He can adjust to every environment. I feel like he is um he's very much like a DNA esque. You never it's certain battles you never bet against. DNA is one of them. But back to Jada Nightwing. Jada Nightwing is really breaking down John John's battles and is telling him, no, nah, this whole Jack Boy. That was not Jack Boy's chain that you threw in the crowd. He said when he heard it, he thought like you took the took the chain off him and then threw him in the crowd. No, he did not pull in the he did not pull in the key to leave Michael Crabtree, Jaden Nightwing. He did not rip his chain off and then throw it. Then he says you paid money for that chain, so that was an eighty dollar chain. You invested a prop and you threw it in the crowd. You you blew your money. I like the angle in that. I like the angle that you took with that, Jay. And then he starts talking about um, the hollow battle and how he he was breaking down facial features and things of that nature. He said, that ain't enough. He said, that is not enough, John John Adon. He said, you're not doing enough, John John Adon. That will not win, win you a battle against him. He further on says that this will be your toughest... Uh, your toughest rookie opponent. And that if you do beat him like you think you will, no one else is going to want to battle you. No other rookie is going to want to take you because he raps. He says, all the, all the gimmicks and use, all the gimmicks and props that you use, he said, I'm on, I'm on a Hall of Fame mode. Sliders gone. What's up? He outside. And I'm not going to lie to you. Initially, again, I have my reservations. I still... Shout out to Jay Nightwing. I respect everything you're doing right now. I still would give John John a 2-1, probably maybe even in a 3-0, but I'm not even sure. I got to really see how the rest of this plays out. Um, but one thing I will say about Jay, and I got to give him his credit, man. And I got to give this rookie class his credit. And I don't know if this kind of comes into what Swamp is doing, but they're not running. They are not running. And they have really gotten the confidence in themselves and in their own personal abilities that the fact that you got here first is irrelevant. They said, I'm, they're here now. They're here now. They won't smoke now. And they don't feel like they got to wait two, three, four years to take a battle. They said, what's up? You see me, you see me, you see me kicking up dust. You see me making noise. What's up? I want a battle. I respect it. I completely respect it. I'm interested to see where this where this goes. Again, the promotion for this battle is great. I think right now, Summer Madness is coming. We need to get that locked in so we can get Jada Nightwing and John John Adon, um, the promotion and the backing they need. But I will say this, Jay, this is a very, very dangerous battle for you, boss. It's a very, very dangerous battle for you. Um, again, you saw what he did with Chess. Chess was not choking until he stood in front of John John. And he ain't been able to spit a bar since. I love the confidence that you bring. I just hope you're ready. That, that's my only advice. I hope you're ready for it. But this is this is temperature check. I am Mr. Check the Temperature, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. Shout out to Jada Nightwing, man. Making battle rap interesting today.